Assisted Reproductive Technology and IVF by kscience.com. ART is assisted reproductive technology, which is used when couples cannot get pregnant. So if a female's pituitary gland produces low levels of FSH, this means that her egg follicle will struggle to grow, whereas normally it needs to grow and mature to release an egg, which does not happen with low levels of FSH. So what happens is, is a female will be given clomiphene. Clomiphene is a drug that contains FSH. So if she takes clomiphene, this will then cause an increased FSH levels in her blood, causing her egg follicles to grow and mature in her ovaries. If the issue is that the female struggles to ovulate, that if she struggles to ovulate, which release the egg from the ovary, that might be due to a lack of LH, a lack or low levels of LH. So that means she will be given clomiphene, and clomiphene also contains LH. So where there is a lack of LH, the female will not ovulate. Whereas when she is given LH via the clomiphene, the egg follicle will ovulate and release an egg for ovulation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. If the female can't get pregnant just by using hormone therapy like clomiphene, she might undergo IVF. So now we've got a woman who can't conceive. The first thing she's going to be given is clomiphene. Clomiphene contains FSH. This is going to cause many eggs to grow and mature in her ovaries. So now she's going to get given FSH, which is going to cause many egg follicles to grow and mature in her ovaries. The next step is to remove the eggs from the egg follicles. So the eggs are removed from the follicles. Now a man must produce a sperm sample. So the man produces a sperm sample. Modern technology now allows for sperm to be injected directly into the egg. So the sperm is injected into the egg cell directly. Or the sperm sample can be mixed with the eggs. Now the egg has been fertilized by the sperm, embryos then form, whereby embryos are formed by incubation. So now when the embryos are ready, they're going to be implanted into the uterus of the mother. So the embryos are transferred and implanted into the uterus of the mother. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.